If you are worried about EMF exposure, I have got a quick and easy solution for you. So let's get ready to talk about Mission Dark. Hey everybody, it is Kim from GetGreenBeWell.com. I have got such an amazing product to share with you. This is something that I have been researching on my own for so many months and finally bought the items and have tested them out and cannot wait to share with you um, just how easy of a solution this is if you are trying to block EMF emissions um, at your home from your elect small electronics, especially when you are sleeping. So without further ado, this is going to be a Mission Darkness. That is the name of the brand. This is a phone shield. And as you can see from the packaging, it is a bag that you are going to put a cell phone in. And this is the bag itself. It's just simple and black. So it's like, it's kind of hard to really appreciate what it looks like just looking at it on the camera. And it opens up and I'll explain a little bit about that. What you're going to do, I'll just quickly tell you, is that you're gonna roll this down with your small electronics in there, and that is going to block all wireless signals. I'm telling you, it is literally this quick and easy to block EMFs. All right, so the company states that all wireless signals are gonna be completely blocked. Let me go ahead and read you this list of everything that is blocked, just so I don't forget anything. So Wi-Fi at 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, Bluetooth, cell signals, that does include 5G networks, y'all. It includes 5G networks. GPS, RFID, NFC, EMI, RFI, radio signals, with a 90 decibel average atten attenuation <laughs> from low megahertz to 40 gigahertz um, and EMF radiation shielding. Now I am just reading the things that the company has um, tested it for. Do not ask me what half of these mean because I do not know. What I am focusing on right now is the EMF radiation shielding. And that is because putting your electronics in a bag like this blocks signals from coming to the electronics and blocks signals from the electronics going out. Why that is so important with EMF is because when you put your phone in airplane mode, which you can do to reduce the EMF exposure, or when you turn off your phone to reduce the EMF exposure, especially at night if you are sleeping near your phone, there are still some small signals that do come from your phone. Um, they are not nearly as much as when your phone is on in normal mode and like in your pocket or laying by your pillow, but just putting it in airplane mode or turning off your phone does not completely block all signals. What you need is something called a Faraday bag, which is what this is that because of the way it is constructed will block all those signals. I'm gonna to read to you exactly what it is made of so I don't miss out on any of the details. It is made of multiple layers of lab certified high shielding Titan RF Faraday fabric on all sides with dual paired seam construction. It is water resistant and it has a ballistic nylon outer material. It is also made in the USA. Now, these are things that were designed for use by law enforcement and by the military, from government uh, while they're traveling so that they can keep things protected and safe. Because it is blocking signals coming from your phone, it can actually help protect the data that is on your phone it can keep hackers from accessing your phone. It can prevent you from being tracked um, through signals coming off of your phone. It can prevent anybody from being able to trigger an app or code onto your phone or whatever small electronics that would be in the Faraday bag system um, remotely. Like they wouldn't be able to do anything to your systems if it was in one of these bags. Um, they can't wipe data off or remove it if it is being protected by a Faraday bag. So these are all really important things that while you might be loving this idea to prevent EMF uh, radiation, 
it actually works in so many more different ways that you could even think of as far as keeping you safe and your personal information safe, your location safe, and not having anybody be able to track you, to access your camera, to access your microphone. Okay, so what I love about this is that you can actually test it out and know whether or not it works. I mean, it really is that simple and these are not that expensive for the security and the protection that they give you. So to test it out, you can either get an app. Um, Mission Darkness has an app that you can download on iPhone or Android, and it actually will let you see the signal strength of what it is outside of the Faraday bag. And then you put your phone inside the Faraday bag and you can see the results. If you don't want to get the app, you can just simply test it. And that is what we did. So we put a phone in the bag. By the way, this is an iPhone 13, just for size so that you know. Put it in the bag and you can see that there's plenty of room for even more phones. You can probably put another type of electronic in there. And in order to have the shielding protection, you need to then close this bag, which means that you need to fold it over once and then actually, that phone needs to go this way. I don't want to misrepresent anything because it's not going to roll over. So that is one iPhone 13 in there. All right. So again, roll it over once with that Velcro and then you need that Velcro to secure by rolling it over twice. That is what's going to give you the uh, shielding protection. If this bag is not closed, you cannot be guaranteed the shielding protection. So we put a phone in here that was turned on used our other phone to try to text and the text would not go through. Then we tried calling the phone that was in here. Phone never rang and it was showing that it was unavailable from the other phone that we were using to call and it went straight to voicemail. So that is pretty impressive. No signals were coming through with the phone that was in this bag. Now let me go ahead and say this. I actually tried to save a few dollars and bought a competitor brand that was less expensive and used that first. And we did the test and it completely failed on that Faraday box. That was a box, not a bag. I returned that, got this one by Mission Darkness and highly honestly recommend this brand not being sponsored or anything because I bought this <laughs> with my own money. Um, they are just really great and it actually works. There are bigger options of something like this. So if you want to protect your laptop, your tablet, um, anything bigger, yes, there are bigger options. I just wanted to test this out because it's great to put the phone in at night to really protect yourself from the EMFs. Simple, easy, relatively inexpensive for what you are getting. Uh, I'm going to put links in the first pinned comment and the description below. I really do think if you are trying to protect yourself, this is great at night. Keep in mind, uh, this should go without saying. If you have anything in here, it is not going to work. This is not something that you put your phone in all day long to protect yourself from EMFs and then think you're still going to get texts and phone calls on it or play your music. Anything that's in here is not going to work. So this is not a through the day type of protection. This is at night when you're sleeping, you really want to have um, as much shielding as possible. This is a nice, easy way to do it because you honestly can still keep your phone right beside you. I like to have my phone close by so that when I wake up, I can get on it in the morning rather than having to get out of bed and like go um, to the ensuite bathroom or like wherever the phone might be to have kept it far enough from me to not have any of those signals um, really close to my body while I'm trying to sleep. So this is a nice alternative. If you've ever used these, let us know how they've worked for you. And until next time, everybody take care and be blessed. Bye-bye.